I was a photography major at NYU. I heard that there's this place where photography is studied. It's kind of hallowed ground. I've worked in museums around the country. I wanted to come here because I was fascinated by the fact that there is something here that you can't get anywhere else in the world, to be truly honest. The Senate purchased a small portion of Adams' work. Much of it was donated in hopes that other artists would follow his lead. They did. Adams kept with him many of his negatives and much of his correspondence, memorabilia, and work prints in order to complete his work. Now all of that material will be gradually transferred to the center. And in his will, he left even more to the University of Arizona. This exhibition is one that we can offer that other institutions can't because of our holdings. And I think that's, A, that's what's exciting. B, this helps tell our story. You know, our founder was Ansel Adams. Um, Dr. Schaefer and Ansel Adams had a vision for what this institution would be. Ansel wanted it not just to be about him. He wanted this place to be a place where the study of photography is enduring and inquiry into its cultural influence and impact is ongoing. As a photographer, I believe that creative photography, when practiced in terms of its inherent qualities, may also reveal endless horizons of meaning. Here you've got the lenses that he used to shoot him climbing Half Dome. And then the result, it's pretty extraordinary. This is photographs of the loyal Japanese Americans at Manzanar Relocation Center by Ansel Adams. I mean, he was deeply invested in telling those stories. You dive deep into our archive and his history, and you know, he was an environmentalist. He was very attuned to social justice, and using the camera to not only take beautiful pictures, but to bear witness, and I think that's an incredible part of his story and we're able to show that. I was born in San Francisco, February the 20th, 1902. How's it going? The whole weekend was a celebration of him, his legacy, his influence. And we were packed. We had 700 people roaming around in these exhibition spaces in our auditorium and upstairs. I think he's relevant because all through the canon of art history, you've got folks that change the narrative. And he was part of that movement, you know. He was someone who was dedicated to the medium, but he wasn't against it morphing and growing. Ansel Adams, 20 years before digital was even on the radar, anticipated it. He knew the medium was going to change. Probably, we'll see in a relatively short time, the emergency of electronic image. And when I say that, a lot of people say, God forbid, that's the end of creative photography. It's all going to be mechanized. And of course, that's absolutely, I think, untrue. I think it'll give a vastly greater control than we have now. We have this dialogue today. If he was around, would he use his cell phone? Of course he would. That's what, that's what I think. You embrace the digital world. You have to participate in it. Cultural institutions have to participate in it and be active players in order to encourage the narrative. The Center for Creative Photography can be that place to posit the questions, to have the provocative conversations about our past and where we're going, visual literacy, the saturation of imagery. Oh, wow, now this is what I want to make. Ansel was prolific on all of those subjects. When I look at these and I think about what he was doing in the darkroom and the burning and the dodging and his choices, I mean, it's just, and he's, you know, he's just such a master that you see the gradations, you see the texture, you move here, you have more subtlety, you keep going, the blacks are rich, and, you know, you start asking yourself, well, which one do you prefer? Which one did he prefer and why? Each one of these on their own is stunning, but together they tell the story of how his technique was so important and is a teaching tool going forward. That's the best part of my job because I just, I get to do this and walk around and <laughs> just to be excited by the content and be impressed on a daily basis that it's here.
as a region, we have a jewel here. As a state, we have a jewel. I mean, we have the canon of North American photography. It's known in the scholarly community, it's known in the artistic community, it's known in the photography community. It needs to be known in our state and our region as well.